Marijuana has seen several uses throughout human history. Everyone knows that it can be used recreationally. In the Americas, early colonists cultivated hemp to craft textiles and rope. Out of all its many uses, the earliest documented use of marijuana dates back to Asia around 500 BC. Here, it wasn't originally used to kick back and relax, or to create clothes and other supplies. Instead, its primary use was for medicine. Today, the legal view of marijuana varies as you cross national or even more local borders, but the scientific view isn't so ambiguous. The medical benefits of marijuana have been known for centuries. Today, some patients risk punishment under the law in order to use the plant and its extracts to find relief from ailments. Perhaps the most well-known examples of this are in cancer patients. Chemotherapy is notorious for its adverse side effects, including pain and nausea. Many patients report that after using marijuana, the pain and nausea brought on by chemotherapy are greatly lessened. The reason for this is due to the way that components of marijuana called THC and CBD react with cannabinoid receptors located throughout the brain and body. These cannabinoid receptors are typically activated by a chemical called anandamide. When THC attaches itself to these receptors, it interferes with communications between neurons. This could affect your memory, appetite, or maybe just make you feel a little more carefree. One such cannabinoid receptor is known as CB1, and it is located throughout the brain. When THC interacts with these receptors, it mitigates feelings of pain and nausea, and can even give patients undergoing chemotherapy a bit of an appetite. THC interacts with another cannabinoid receptor called CB2, which is also found in the brain, but can be found in high densities in the immune and gastrointestinal systems. Among other things, CB2 helps to regulate inflammation in the intestines. Because of this, people with Crohn's disease and irritable bowel syndrome report experiencing immense relief after using marijuana because of the way THC reacts with the CB2 receptors. Marijuana is known to have several other benefits, including mitigating the symptoms of Alzheimer's disease, multiple sclerosis, and treating muscle spasms that other medications struggle to treat. It has even been shown to shrink the area of the brain affected by a stroke and to help reduce the frequency and severity of seizures. Due to legal restrictions in many areas, the underlying mechanisms for many of marijuana's success stories are still unknown. While it is absolutely understood in the scientific community that marijuana can be an effective treatment for some things, what isn't fully understood is what the potential long-term adverse effects to using marijuana might be. Generally speaking, scientists agree on a number of things regarding the safety of marijuana. First, it's recommended that you avoid smoking marijuana, or anything for that matter. Doing so can lead to the inhalation of substances that aren't good for your body. Alternative methods of consumption include vaporization and infusing marijuana in foods to create edibles. Scientists agree that the use of marijuana should be avoided in children if possible, especially if there is no medical reason for its use. Just as marijuana can reduce the size of areas of the brain affected by strokes, they can also shrink areas related to memory in the brains of teenagers. Marijuana is known to increase heart rate by anywhere from 20 to 100% for up to 3 hours, which can increase the risk of a heart attack during this time. Smoking marijuana while pregnant can lead to developmental complications and even premature births or stillbirths. There are other documented health risks associated with marijuana, including reduced sperm count, disruptions in women's menstrual cycles, and even increased anxiety in some people. The lists of pros and cons go on. But until legal issues are sorted out, the ability of the scientific community to work together in researching marijuana is limited. This is a shame, because while it may not work for everyone, the known potential benefits of this plant could change the lives of countless people around the world.